Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and you're watching our video review of the Acer Cloud Mobile. What makes this smartphone special is that it comes with Acer Cloud included, that is Acer's uh, cloud-based service which allows uh, certain types of files to be accessed remotely over the internet. This is also Acer's uh, flagship smartphone for 2012. As such, it comes with some pretty decent hardware specs. It has an HD display on its front, uh, there is a dual-core Snapdragon S4 chip under its hood and on the back we see an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus and LED flash. All of that is enclosed in a pretty beautiful body which is lightweight and pretty slim. What we can say about the design of Acer Cloud Mobile is that it's a very pretty very attractive uh, device. The front side is made out of glass, there are metal elements on top and the bottom sides while the back is made out of uh, plastic of a uh, pretty decent quality thankfully. There is a texture on the plastic back cover which uh, is very resistant to fingerprints so there won't be any when you are done using the smartphone and it also adds lots of grip to the device. On the left side of the smartphone we have the micro USB port used for charging the battery and for connecting the smartphone to a PC. On the top side we have the lock key and the 3.5mm headphone jack and on the right is located the 2 button volume rocker. Thankfully the physical keys, the lock button and the two button volume marker are very well exposed and provide an excellent click when pressed. The smartphone is about as big as an LG Optimus L7 or a Samsung Galaxy S2, so once you get uh, used uh, to its uh, proportions you probably won't have much troubles using it with a single thumb. On the front of the Acer Cloud Mobile we have a 4.3 inch display with HD resolution 720 by 1280 pixels. It's made using IPS LCD technology and uh, looks simply awesome. Graphics are nice and detailed due to the very high pixel density and the tiny text is uh, very easy to read. Moreover we noticed that the color representation is very accurate and it doesn't get too distorted when the screen is uh, viewed at an angle. Unfortunately, we also noticed that uh, the display doesn't have a very high brightness output. So when the smartphone is being used under outdoor conditions, it isn't very easy to see what is being displayed. Out of the box, the Acer Cloud Mobile runs a slightly customized version of Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Many visual elements uh, have retained their stock form. For example, the icons, the virtual Android uh, buttons and the way applications and uh, widgets are organized in the app drawer. The lock screen, however, has been uh, replaced with a more sophisticated one that can uh, host four shortcuts to applications of the user's choice. Also, the drop-down notification bar is where toggle buttons for various connectivity features can be found, in addition to quick access to your alarm clock and uh, one of the stock music players. Some users might find this solution kind of convenient, although we think it's a bit of an overkill. All in all, the interface of the Acer Cloud Mobile is okay as it mostly sticks to the stock Android experience and the changes that it adds uh, can be uh, quite convenient for some users. We have no complaints about uh, how the stock Android on-screen keyboard works on the uh, Acer Cloud Mobile. It is both comfortable to use in portrait and in landscape modes. And uh, in case you happen to make a typo, the keyboard uh, can automatically correct it on the fly. Acer Cloud is the standout feature of the Acer Cloud Mobile. It is a cloud-based service that allows uh, certain types of files to be accessed remotely, but uh, it has some serious limitations. For example, music and video files are not physically stored in the cloud, so one has to stream them from their home PC where they are located, instead of streaming them from the cloud. Thankfully, photos and documents remain cached on the cloud for 30 days, so the home PC that you're using as a cloud PC doesn't have to be turned on all the time in order for you to have access to them. The photos that you take with the Acer Cloud Mobile are automatically updated to the Cloud PC which is very convenient because you don't have to transfer them manually. In a nutshell, there are nice things about Acer Cloud. It allows you to access your home multimedia collection remotely, but it certainly doesn't feel like it is the best cloud-based service available for Android devices. For example, HTC is offering its latest Android devices with 25GB of free Dropbox storage for two years, while Samsung and Sony offer 50GB with their high-end devices. 
We experienced no performance issues while testing out the Acer Cloud Mobile. It has a very capable Snapdragon S4 processor running at 1.5 GHz with 1 GB of RAM, so whatever we throw at it, the Snapdragon could handle it, including some of the latest 3D games. Transitioning between applications happens in an instant and there is no lag when switching between home screens. Both Google Chrome and the stock Ice Cream Sandwich web browser run great as well, just like all the other applications that we tested on the Acer Cloud Mobile. Even heavy web pages are loaded very quickly and rendered in an instant, with minimal delays while zooming in and out. Adobe Flash doesn't come installed, but embedded YouTube videos are still playable. What we like about the 8 megapixel camera on the Acer Cloud Mobile is that it has a very wide field of view, has no shutter lag, and can capture 10 consecutive full resolution photos in about a second, which is very impressive. Unfortunately, we noticed a few drawbacks. Uh, for example, details in photos are okay, but often not of the level we would expect out of a smartphone of this class. You also get features like HDR and panorama mode, but the results aren't uh, really that good looking. But most importantly, uh, when you press the shutter, the photo is taken instantly, regardless of whether the object is in focus or not, so you might end up with a blurry photo. You can take 1080p videos at 30 frames per second and their quality is uh, very decent and the continuous autofocus works uh, quite well. We have to mention, however, that the audio in the sample videos that we took uh, sounded a bit digitized. Using the Acer Cloud Mobile as a music player can be frustrating because if you happen to download music from the cloud or if you attempt to play music from the cloud, the only player you can use for that purpose is the one that Acer has supplied. At the same time, the Acer player doesn't have a home screen widget and it doesn't have controls on the lock screen, which is a bit disappointing. Ironically, as we mentioned before, there are controls on the drop-down menu, but those work only with the Play Music app, and that application doesn't have access to any locally stored music from the cloud. In a similar fashion, the video player that Acer has installed allows streaming content from your cloud PC. Other than that, it doesn't offer anything fancy in terms of features and its interface is pretty ordinary. Videos of various formats such as MPEG-4 and XVID are supported at resolutions of up to 1080p, but the DivX files are not supported. The co quality of the Acer Cloud Mobile is ok, but we've definitely heard much better results. The earpiece sounds quite muffled though, so we couldn't always understand what the other party was saying. On the other side of the line, the secondary microphone filters quite a lot of the background noise, but uh, voices uh, as a result uh, sound digitized. Behind the back cover of the Acer Cloud Mobile are located the slots for the micro SIM card and the micro SD card, which can expand the onboard storage of the device with up to 32 additional gigabytes. Here is also the removable battery with a capacity of 1460 milliamp hours. In conclusion, the Acer Cloud Mobile is a smartphone that definitely deserves some attention. It is priced very competitively in some markets, down to $460, which is an excellent price considering what you get in exchange. You get a beautiful smartphone with a 4.3 inch HD display and a powerful dual core processor. Acer Cloud, however, was a bit of a disappointment. And if you're looking for the best uh, cloud-based service available on Android devices, you better look elsewhere. There are other companies that are willing to sell you their high-end Android devices with anything between 25 and 50 gigabytes of free cloud storage for two years. One of the alternatives that we would recommend is the Sony Xperia SL, which comes at a very similar price point, but also has an HD display on its front. There is also the HTC One S, which uh, may have an inferior screen, but has an outstanding design and uh, comes with 25 gigabytes of uh, free Dropbox storage for two years. From Motorola, one can get the Razer M or the Razer I, which uh, both have very decent performance and outstanding design. Another alternative that uh, we must uh, mention is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, which has an even bigger screen and comes with the latest version of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Thank you for watching our video review of the Acer Cloud Mobile. If you want to check out any of our other smartphone reviews, just visit our website phonearena.com.